Good evening, Samurai! Welcome to the stream, welcome to the channel, welcome to the Vortex. My name is Ezio and I will be your guide this evening as we once more journey into worlds and realms unknown and I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? Hey, old Skelepuppy, welcome! Hold on. <coughs> right, let's see if I can actually talk properly now. Hey, old Skelepuppy, welcome! For those of you who couldn't join us on the previous leg of our journey, we are now past the Trial of the Sword and we have discovered one key thing. The Master Sword is still a durable weapon, it's just that it has a really high durability. Fun! We also ventured into Grudo Desert. We encountered a man stood atop a, atop a rock. Link is now wearing drag. Hail, squeezed elf! Link is now wearing drag. We ventured into Grudo Town. We've got some tab of the week so we can now finish a sub story that we were going to do at the start of the stream. And yeah, we are now working our way to taking down a giant mechanical camel in the desert and I need to close the window because it's currently blowing my windows like a poltergeist is invaded. Give me a moment. <laughs> there we go. I can always open the window again if it gets too warm in here. But anyway, with that said, let's get this journey on the road, shall we? So come, join me as we once more step forth into the vortex as we continue to travel and traverse the world, the realm of the Legend of Zelda Breath of the wild. Our destination lays before us, the controls are set and as always the switch still needs to be turned on. So let's go! Shall we? That's the wrong button. <laughs> That's the right button. Wrong screen. Controls weren't set. I lied to you. I apologise. Anyway. Hopefully everyone's doing well this evening. Da -da -da. Come on switch, wake up. Do your thing. Do your switchy goodness of greatness and fun. Again! In something! There we go. Oh, right, okay, sure. <laughs> but we're starting fairly. Okay, right, okay, that's. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. There we go. Right, time to do some cooking. Um, We need different types of fruit. No. Hold. 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 Then we need goat butter. No. No, oh, hold on. No, that that's wrong. Uh, hold. Hold. Then we need pepper for wheat, goat butter, and cane sugar. Oops! Sorry, I hit my desk. That produces a fruit cake. Making ample use of fruit found all over Hyrule, this cake is a must for celebrations. Oh, I have apples and brown sugar. I'm going to make apple, an apple pocket. There we go. There we go. Um, Right, now we need the monster cake, which was, I think, fruit. No, oh, there we go. Monster extract, tabba for wheat, goat butter, and cane sugar. Oh, it, it literally just monster extract. Oh, really? Nothing else. Just oh, okay, fine. So monster extract, cane sugar, pepper for wheat, goat butter. Oh. I wasn't paying attention before. I do have goat butter, right? I didn't just use the last of it, did I? I really should have paid attention to that. Okay, right, hold on. No. No. Oh, I think I've just used the last of my goat butter and I didn't realise. Oh... Bollocks. Right, okay, so now we're going on a journey to Kakaraku. <laughs> oh, son of a dings. Right, okay, fine. Where's Kakaraku these days? Uh, it's here. Literally next to where it says Kakaraku Village. <laughs> Monster extract, type of wheat, goat butter, and cane. Only four ingredients? 
Okay. Okay, cool. I suddenly regret closing that window. It's already starting to get quite warm. Um, and actually, before we go in there... Also, Master Sword's back. I'm going to... Oh, just a purple rupee. Oh, blue rupee, even. <laughs> yeah, I can do colours. Are there... Oh, there's another blue rupee. Are there any fairies here? Or have I got all of the, my full quota of fairies? Uh, uh, nope, my full quota of fairies is full. That's a shame. How many fairies do I have? Four! Oh. Uh, I was kind of hoping for more. Not going to lie. But the way the furries spawn in this game is a bit weird. Oh, Kilton's there as well. Right, in that instance, we're also going to make a quick stop off at his store. Um... Oh, wait a minute, I don't need that. I will keep the diamond circlet on and we'll just put on our engagement ring instead. Um, find it. <clears throat> there it is. It's moved. <laughs> Hello, Kilton. Yeah, I wish to spend some mon. Anything new? Uh, no. I assume that I don't have anything new until I... Unless I get... Things... Do I unlock things as I progress the story or as I sell him monster parts? Hmm. Um, there we go. Noise. Strongest number. All of them. Um. Um. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm curious. If I sell him parts of different monsters, does he produce different hats? Like, if I sell him parts of Lionel's, will he then produce his Lionel hat? Also, here's Skeller Puppy. Hail, Skeller Puppy. Sorry, I, did I not say hail before? Oh, well, I'll say it again. Hail, Skeller Puppy! <laughs> uh, did that unlock anything? No, but I was faintful hoping. Uh, what am I drinking today? I am drinking Bitfire Ale. British Ale. 
Spitfire from I, I can't remember which brewery it came from to be honest, but yeah, I'm drinking Spitfire. Very nice. I like I like my British ale. Um, never heard of it. <laughs> Fair enough. Eh, it's fairly popular. It's better when it's come out when it's on. Um, why am I forget the terminology now? When it's on cask, basically, when you can go into a pub and they pull it from the beer pump, it tastes mu that stuff tastes much better than the stuff in the bottle. But the bottle's more convenient, at least for the live stream. I last, I don't have a pub in my house. Would be a shame. On tap, I don't know, suppose on tap. I, I, there's a different word on draft. That's it. Or was, would that not work with British? I don't know. On draft works with lager and stouts. So I suppose it probably work with on tap as well. But uh, either way, you you get what I mean. I hope. Um. Right, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was going to get goat butter. And I might as well see if the Lonely Arrow Girl has any arrows for me as well. Are you still Korok hunting? Yes. Not at the minute though. We're in, we're actually, uh, believe it or not, and I don't blame you for not believing it, considering we are currently wandering around doing everything, but we're actually in the midst of the story at the moment. We have a thing to... Uh, Navaris to rescue. Okay, there's no arrows. Oh, I also need to go to um, Goron. Excuse me, Goron City, and see if we can sell some of our jewels. Hello, ah, butter, marvelous. Ah. <coughs> All of them, please. Aww. Uh, swift carrots. No, but I'll take some bird eggs. Aww. Also, thank you very much for the host, Skeller Puppy. Much appreciated. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, we are going to be doing Karok seed hunting once. We've unlocked the area, but we can't do... We're not going to do the Karok seed hunting until we've done Nabaris, because then we've actually, you know, cleared the map and we can actually go and do everything. Uh, oh, right, I've got goat butter, so now we will go and... That was a lizard. Um, we shall now cook ourselves a cake. <laughs> consisting of tapafu wheat, meat, uh, uh, the, the, the engi extracts. Okay, yeah, we did use all. Right, this should produce us a thing. <coughs> With glass shards in it, apparently. There we go, monster cake. It said once you've tasted this cake, you'll never forget its sweetness. It also gives us a quarter of a heart, really? That's pretty lame. Alright, so I saw... Right, anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I saw. Uh, right, back to Central Hyrule. We'll go and give the cake to the great-grandson of the royal chef, who will, I'm sure, be absolutely astounded and conclude that he too must be our royal chef and unlock... A recipe book for us to... Uh, okay, uh, that's faint open. Seriously, why isn't there a recipe book? I know it gives you the chance to experiment, but why not both? Why not cook meal, unlock recipe in book, and then whenever I come to cook and I go to a pot, I can just select a recipe from the book and cook that. That would work. I don't know why the game's concluded I'm not allowed to do that. Probably another... Probably a, another site on Nintendo's part. Or maybe they just really wanted people to do experimentation. You what? You really discovered a royal cookbook? I found two, actually. Would I bother you to further and prepare the dish for me? I must sample it. Yeah, have the fruit cake. Your fruit cake. This is the greatest cake in all of Hyrule. Nom 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 nom. Simply delicious. How could I possibly describe this experience? A refreshing aroma reminiscent of galloping across the majestic plains on horseback. No, that undersells the dish's complexity. It fills me with the heart-pumping intensity that seizes your very soul when you're spotted by a guardian. A truly elegant dish I never thought I would taste something quite so thrilling. I must thank you for giving me such a beautiful meal. Here, take this for your trouble. Oh. What? You discovered another... Oh, it's a thunderstorm, Marvels. You discovered another recipe? Can I bother you further to prepare this dish for me? I must sample it. Yeah, I have this monster cake. The monster cake is said to have been a favourite to the Minister of Hyrule. 
It tastes beautiful. How can I put it into words? It's like biting into a choo-choo. You've bitten into a choo-choo? No, no, that would be disgusting and dangerous. <laughs> yes! Well done! Congratulations! Biting into a choo-choo is indeed dangerous. It stimulates the brain, much like being pummeled by a Hinox. Okay. <laughs> a truly oh. elegant dish. I never thought I would taste something quite so thrilling. I really must thank you for giving me such this beautiful meal. Here, take this for your trouble. Cool. Oh. Thank you. Oh. I think I'll continue my practice, my cooking, and undis uh, un unsuspecting in patrons like yourself. Okay, cool. Have fun. Bye. Oh, yeah. Wonderstorm. Uh, I can't be bothered going through that, so we're just going to go to Grudo Town instead. Oh, no, we need to go to the Oasis. Oh, we'll go to Grudo Town, and then we can make our way across with the Sand Seal to the Oasis. And then we unlock a memory, and then we do a thing. Hmm. Yes, I'm sure that makes perfect sense. 84 shrines done, by the way. With more coming. Okay. So. Oh. Are there any sand seals? Yes, there are. Cool. Nobody here but us, the uh, Hillians. Oh, now we're freezing to death. Marvellous. Problem solved. Oh, look. An electric key is marvellous, my favourite of enemies. Uh, oh, there are. Stop there for a moment, Sandseal. Thank you. Such a... I love the sound the Master Sword makes when I hit things with it. Just makes it such a... Such a... Meaty clunk. There. Uh. Stay dead. Oh yeah, I'm dying. Marvels. Me sand seal gone. There it is. One electric Lizophos down. Several more to go. Is there any vault fruit on this cactus? I desperately need more vault fruit. <laughs> or do I? Oh no, I don't. I just need the Lizophos. Oh bollocks! I've just wasted time. That's annoying. We'll be back soon. Fair enough. Also, hail Hudlum. And um, also, hail Mighty Lurker. <laughs> Alrighty then. So, there is a memory somewhere around here. Album. Yes, it is. Right, okay. So, we... 
the oh it's opposite the general store between two palm trees Years ago, okay, so that there it is, <laughs> just spawned in. Cutscene time. Link saving the princess's life. Okay, I must admit, Link could look pretty awesome with that. <clears throat> but I prefer post-Calamity Link to more to pre-Calamity. He seems to have a bit more about him. Right, um... What was I doing? Oh, right, I've done that now, so... Yeah, it's nothing unusual. Carry on. Continue your blah de blah. I need an electric Zophos. <clears throat> What's that? Two Play-Doh. Okay. Good to know. And still still seal still around here. Oh, there it is. Cool, let's go and explore the desert for a bit. Oh, I wonder if I put my Sheikah on, does that mitigate mean I can stealth up quicker to the sand seal? No, the answer is no. You know what would have been nice? Being able to tame my own sand seal. Okay, yeah, I need I need to go after this is off. Switch to our new gear. 
Continue the great Lizophos hunt. Oh, yeah, there's also the um, lookout post I want to investigate. It's a shrine! Anseal Rally. Oh no. Let me guess. I have to win in order to use the finger me, Bob. Also, you have the most amazing afro ever. <laughs> Look at her! <laughs> She's my new favoritest person. Hello. Hey, kid. Great Tally isn't in the mood for giving autographs right now. Will you come back later? Who's Tally? Hey. Who's Tally? Are you serious right now? You aren't seriously saying you don't recognize Tally, the Sand Seal Raising Champion, do you? That stupid divine beast is only the thing stopping us from showing the Tally Sand Seal skills firsthand. Sand Seal Racing? So everyone in the world has heard of Sand Seal Racing except you. Have you been sleeping under a rock? Sand Seal Racing is a sport of people who guide Sand Seals through arches and then they race towards the finish line. It is a race with Sand Seals, but it's so hard to understand. <coughs> The racer with the fastest time wins. It's a true Grudo tradition. Wait. But because of this blasted divine beast, we can't run a single race right now. Uh, what happened? You your ass. The divine beast is stomping around and it's obviously it can't use the sand seal race course. I suppose you could stand around here if you want, but I'd prefer if you did it elsewhere. Who are you? Ah. You do my own horn, but I'm one of those raised tally to the sand seal racing champion she is. Easy. Let me tell you that. That afro took four years to grow. She's always been a bit shy, but her and I have a great relationship now. Is that right, Telly? Uh -huh. Yes, yes, right. Understood, Telly. Who in the blazes sands does this divine beast think it is? No one upsets the great Telly and gets away with it. Yes, hello! <laughs> when it was proving themselves to touch the ancient item! Don't forget for a moment, I think it just... <laughs> okay, scary lady. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here then. Right, where was I? Ooh, that's a lizard. That's a hearty lizard. Ah, that's a high tail. Which you would expect more for living out here than in the forest, so I freely admit. Um, where's the sand seal gone? Sand seal's wandered off. Oh, that's annoying. Right, okay, so. It's a Grudo town.
Boom, 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 boom. Right, okay. The, the warping song has indeed worked. I am truly the hero of time. Um... Oh yeah, the sand seals don't mind muggins running behind them like that, but I end up I terrify them the moment I stand a bit too loudly on a stick. Ah, uh, crumbs. <laughs> I'd like a dog. It's adorable. <laughs> Okay, so that can't be the outpost. So where's the outpost? Oh wait, they said it looks close, but it's actually really far away. So I'm guessing it's beyond that? Curious what's up there. Oh! Yeah, that was annoying in the slightest. type of Lizopos. Okay, and there's also a thing in the bob here. Cool. Right. Oh. Or well, there isn't. Oh, there is. Okay. Where is it? Um, oh, there it is. That kind of works. And now I need to heal again. <laughs> oh yeah, well, let's try and burn through some of these recipes while we're at it. Loosh. Deaded. Cool! Yep. Well, bug. Not for long. Um. Oh. 
go. Royal bow with quick shot and royal bow with durability. Okay. Um. Yep. Oh, durability plus. Marvelous. Cool. Job's done. Now, let's go up here and see what we've got. Hello. That's free, isn't it? Uh, yeah, free. Only two more. Hmm. What's this place then? Oh, uh... Bomb arrows! Nice. Oh, that reminds me, I should probably switch off the bomb arrows. There we go. Mm. Oh, it's a Korok seed, of course it is. Well, not gonna bother with that at the minute. No idea where this outpost is. And I don't know when the seal's gone either. Okay, back to Grudo Town then. <clears throat> I'm an idiot, aren't I? What's that literally in front of us? Mm. Right, okay then. Let's see if anyone's home. <laughs> 